Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jacob with Browns Landscaping and Lawn Maintenance out here in beautiful Central Florida. <clears throat> so, man, guys, we have been slammed. We've been working six days a week. Uh, but anyways, you know, I think we're getting, getting things back to normal. So I'm able to actually start making some videos <laughs> again. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm in my trailer. Look how messy my trailer is, guys. Oh, this is the this is the time that I wish I had a, a, a longer, a bigger trailer. <laughs> uh, this is an 18 footer. I think I I should get a I should have got a 20 footer. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta get this thing organized. This is how busy we've been, man. I haven't had time to really keep up with anything in my trailer, my trucks. So, but anyways, guys, so we're at our first property here same same thing here um the grass is looking nice and green you got a little bit of trimming on the legusm trees hedges so we're gonna be doing that <clears throat> but awesome so i finally did it guys <laughs> all, in all my years in business or actually since i started landscaping here in florida i finally did it i finally did it I picked up an account with no hedges, no hedges. It's straight up mowing grass. That's it. That's just grass cutting. No, no trimming, no bushes, no, no trees, no nothing. And I, you know, I was like, that's what I'm talking about, man. Um, you know, a little break from from the trimming and the hedges and stuff. But so, well, anyway, so yeah, man. So I'm really excited about that. I picked that up. Uh, this month and you know, we've already been servicing it um, Once I get onto that property, I can show y'all What exactly uh, we had to do there and how I got that property. It's it was it's a, it was crazy But we're getting it. We're getting it straight. We're getting it, we're getting everything straight on that on that property But well, anyways guys, let me get to work and I catch you uh, be right back All right, so we are wrapping up House number one. Look at that, there some tree. Mm -hmm. Nice. The edge is trimmed. Still waiting on the confirmation on the palms. Sadly, garlic. I think it's almost time to start trimming up these robolinis. Got a little more seeds up in there. But, yeah. These hedges. Oh, nice. Yeah, that hedge. And then you have these hedges all around the house. You have those hedges way back there. House full of hedges. <laughs> I don't feel like walking back there. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is it for house number one. They're wrapping it up. So while they're wrapping it up, I'm gonna go straighten out my trailer. Alright guys, so real quick, I've been using the Echo SHS 225. It's a real short shaft. Um, I don't know the specs on this, but I haven't used a trimmer like this in, in a while. I always use the long ones, that one or the, the Arctic, Arctic uh, the swivel one, or, you know, the transformation of the weed eater into the hedge. So I always use long ones. So it's been, it's been years since I had used something short like this. And so I bought this. Uh, I guess in August, September, I think, on our, um, between August and October, around those, uh, last year. And I've been using it uh, a lot. I kind of liked it at first because it's, it's way lighter, way lighter than the other ones. It is shorter, so, you know, you had to do more reaching out. You know, we had to reach, do more. It was, we had to work harder because we had to reach further out with it. But one thing I've noticed is that, I've been having a lot of
So one thing that I've noticed is that I've been having a lot of shoulders problems on, on, on this one. And and that's where we keep that the 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 hitch the the motor of that trimmer, that's where we keep it up. And by and I think that's what what's causing this is the I don't know if it's having that motor so close to my shoulder that is causing causing it to uh, get sore or I don't know. So but I, I did notice every time so what I okay, so what I did was I stopped using that one for about two weeks and I went back to my other ones, to, to my longer ones. And I noticed that the my the pain in my shoulder wasn't there anymore. So I don't know if I'm just used to having these or it's just that one is just too close to my body and I'm, and I'm, and I'm used to having things where I, you know, to, where I could see, you know, not so close to my body. So that, that's something that, that I've noticed on the trimmers. I'm actually trying to do a review. Um, I'm actually trying to do a review on, uh, on the different size of hedge trimmers. Um, you know, showing the, the, the advantages of having them and, you know, which ones really that I, I prefer. And this one having trouble with that one, um, I can already tell. Um, I like it, but it, there, there's a draw to it for, for me. Um, but, so we'll see. Like, like I said, I'm working on a, on a review, on like a review of, of all the trimmers of this one up here. Um, so... That one, that uh, this one, the the short one, and then probably a smaller one, and we'll see which one's probably you know which one's more beneficial. But all right, guys, let me get ready to go to the next property. better if you stand like this. He's in training guys, he's in training. Alright guys, so house number two is done. We're wrapping it up. They're just blowing, picking up whatever left on the ground. But the hedges are trimmed. Look at that. Oh, boy. That thing's are tight. Table tight. And the custom trade. Hedge trim. Trimmed up the azaleas. She just looks like he's like he's uh, taking out the mold instead of the clipping. Got that trim, got the hedges on this side trim. Don't forget that front. Got these azaleas trimmed.
Keith has just thrown. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's done for us. House number two done. So now we're gonna go take lunch and go hit up house number three. All right, guys, so we're at our third property for today. Grass is nice and green, nice and thick. Just got done mowing, the edge and weeding, they're blowing. Now we're gonna go in and go through some of the beds, you know, just clean out some some of the beds before they get real bad. But actually, I want to show you something on the crepe myrtles, um, you know, because you know YouTube. I'm supposed to learn stuff on YouTube, and I really appreciate all y'all guys um, who follow me, who watches our videos. I really appreciate it. Who comment, you know. Sometimes I know I get real behind on com commenting back, but guys, I really appreciate it. But I want to show you some kind of crack myrtles. Because when the crack myrtles start popping out, you're going to have a lot of new growth coming out. And I just want to show you. You know, one way for detailed work on crack myrtles is you see how all that, that's the head. You can see where the, the level is at there. So basically, like all this lower stuff here, you know, you can break those off. So guys, today I, I don't have my tripod. I don't know what I did with my tripod. So I'm kind of doing everything. Uh, trying to hold my phone at the same time. Trying to do things. So, but, see, they break off pretty easy. See, pull them down too. You know, if you had a handsaw, you could just saw them, little scissors. And basically you just go and get all this, all this little stuff on the bottom. This new growth. And I'll show you why. Uh, I'm probably moving the phone too much. All right. All right. So, see how we took all the loot, loot suckers on the bottom there? And then you see how this one here has them all down there. On the, this one hasn't, hasn't been done, and that one hasn't been done. So, you know, just, just by doing that, you know, it just makes it look more cleaner, look more professional, should I say? <laughs> but yeah, so you know, that's that's something that you know it's easy to do and, and it's real quick. All right, let me get back to work. All right, so another tip for the crepe myrtles that we talked about cleaning up up here, you know, where the where the canopy is at, getting all the little suckers on the bottom. So, and another one would be um, on the bottom of the base. You know, all, all this new growth here, you know, same thing here. Some of, you know, you can break it off with your finger or something. If I had some scissors, I would have cut it. Um, let me try something here. All right, so. There you go. See, it looks more cleaner. So you got one there. You got a couple over there. So these are big. These are long. So 
So that'll be another tip for the crate mirrors is, you know, clean, make sure that the bases are clean. And then like here, so there's, there's the, the head, I, I guess I said the head, the canopy. So all this would get taken out. Uh, same thing over there. All this little stuff here get taken out. Mm. So, and just stuff like that, that that's what makes a, you know, little detail work like that can make a big difference. So, but anyways, let me get back. All right, guys, we're trying to wrap this one up. This is our fourth property today, for today. And we got the trees trimmed. Got the hedges trimmed. We cut back half of the or the Orlanders. We cut half of that back. So, just picking that up, finishing up the blowing. And that's it for this house. <clears throat> oh, I'll tell you something real funny. So, a couple weeks ago, I show up, right? And they had all these flags out. And at first I was like, what the heck? You know, cause I'm, I'm the one that, you know, it's like, I have a map and everything for this. I know where all the irrigation heads are. And like, I didn't know what's going on. I, I thought maybe they had hired somebody to come check the irrigation. And so I'm like, you know, I'm like thinking to myself, it wasn't like tripping or anything. I was just like, it, it bothered me a little bit that, you know, like, whoa, what the heck? But what ends up? It was nothing serious, you know, she, she came out, she's like, hey, you probably saw those flags out. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, you know, um, just want to let you know, um, you know, we're, we're going to be getting uh, the driveway redone. We're going to get pavers. So I'm like, oh, okay. So, so, so they came in, they uh, marked all the he irrigation heads and stuff like that. So I said, oh, okay, that, that, that makes sense then. And I'm, I'm glad they did that because I'm gonna, uh, the, the other house that I picked up that all this is mowing, one of the issues with that property was one of the issues with that property was that they did pavers also but they didn't check for the irrigation and so they ran um the concrete over all the irrigation heads and yeah so it was a totally mess so you know we got that fixed but for this property here you know for them to you know do this that that's good yeah that that was good for them to locate all that but you know i could have saved them had all the well, it doesn't matter. It, it's done, it's done. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate um, y'all watching. Um, sorry it wasn't too much. Like I said, I didn't have my tripod with me, man. Um, I really did a lot of trimming. My arm, I don't know what's wrong with my arm. I'm afraid to go to the doctor because I'm afraid, you know, I'm afraid that, you know, you catch something there. So I don't even want to go to the doctor yet. But once everything clears up, I'll be going, you know, get my arm checked out. Because, yeah, it's, it's been bothering pretty bad for a couple of days now. But anyways, guys, um, stay strong and stay focused. And in my name is Jesus Christ. Peace out.